Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival with Lone Debater 7. Uh, we are picking up just a little bit after where we left off last time. I went ahead and laid out our 10 concrete bricks, our capacitor, we've got our solar panel, and our constructor is now set up. So with this all turned on, um, first things first, I want to get our water generator built. Can I not build it in here? Is it... what? Really? That's so weird. Okay. Um, I don't actually know what this takes, so I'm going to take a little bit of each of these things with me. I guess you have to build that inside of the portable constructor, which seems odd. I would think that's a basic enough recipe to be in the small constructor as well. What are we missing? Uh... Okay, well, we've got three fuel, but we can't build this because we can't build a motor. Nanotubes. Take carbon. Okay, so we need some more plant fibers, it looks like. Damn, I thought we were going to be able to get... Actually, we maybe still can. Let's go see if we can build a chainsaw. It's not in the tech tree to unlock, so I'm hoping that just means that you can build it without. Let's see. Yes, you can, and we can make one. Uh, since we've got three biofuel, that should, in theory, um, give us enough here. Let me just turn on the base. So if you push the Y key while you're inside of your base, it'll turn it on. It'll turn on everything. You can manually do it if you go into the P menu. You can choose what you want. Basically, the way you do that is you go to devices, and you can you know turn it on, off individually. So not a big deal. Um, just wanted to show that. As we build up the base, the CPU usage is going to be more relevant uh, now than it was in the past set, or past version we played. Um, apparently, if you have it over on its power usage, like it'll start blowing up generators and stuff, which is an interesting mechanic to say the least. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see uh, how that kind of factors into our play style. Um, as we expand our base, obviously, for this little outpost, it's probably not going to be an issue. Um, let's see. I'm hoping that this gives us wood. Doesn't look like it. Shoot. Um, where might there be? Are those little trees? I can't tell if those are trees or cactus. They're too far away, I guess. Hopefully they are trees, because I could use some wood to get some easy plant fiber. At least that's normally how I resolve the plant fiber issue because it does like it. It's used for little weird things. So the motor is an example of that. Obviously, let's just try shopping this one. Nah, it's it doesn't look like those drop wood because usually they drop it right away. Um, so we are just gonna keep walking in this direction. Hopefully, we come across. Uh, like a tree or two. We don't need a lot, realistically, because each tree gives you, like, three or four wood. Each wood gives you, like, five or six planks, I believe. Um, and the planks give you five or six fiber each, so it scales pretty well. I still want to gather, like, 20 to 40 wood, just so we don't have to worry about plant fiber anymore. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can find some trees. We might end up just coming back once we do, because I'm not seeing any in this direction, so we're probably going to need to go back this way. I want to say, I'm trying to remember where we spawned, there might have been a couple of, of trees just kind of chilling, but this is going to really change how I approach the game, because if I can't get plant fiber just from harvesting wood, it's going to be a lot harder, I guess, to get the plant fiber you need to build stuff, at least initially. Once you get sufficiently advanced, you don't need plant fibers for all that many things. Uh, however, it is still used for a lot of recipes, um, so I want to try to get some if we can. I guess the other thing we could do, we should be queuing some stuff up in our constructor. That was kind of dumb. I didn't do that before we left uh, because it'd be built by the time we returned. Oh well. It's fine. Scouting is always good, as far as this game is concerned. 
because you never know what you might find, and if you find the right thing, it might really, really, really help your game. Um, like, for example, if we were to come over this hill and see a tree, it would be so amazing for us, but that is not our luck today. Um, it is an arid planet, so it's to be expected. That's why this is a harder playthrough than your temperate planet. Uh, that and the oxygen. Uh, adds a couple of extra variables to the game, so to speak, that uh, increase the difficulty, at least in my opinion. Um, that coupled with the food debuffs and all that, um, yeah, it's kind of... It, uh, I'm curious to see what happens here. So... I was gonna look for the motorbike. Maybe we can build that, um, hopefully, and that might help us. What I should do is build an O2 tank for this guy. That way, once we get our water generator set up, we can, you know, use bigger bottles. We'll also need an O2 station, so we'll get those on the craft. Um, this is ready, so we do have the motorbike. That is useful. Um, I'm going to build our other three solar panels and our second capacitor. And I might actually take this up to four of them. I don't know exactly how this works. So I'm just looking to see if I can find their output. So I know this holds 1,500 is what it says. I, I just am not sure exactly how much those solar panels generate. Does it maybe say in here? Um, no, not really. Okay, well, that's fine. It's Once it hits night, we'll go sleep in our tent. That way we can still have power. Okay, we just lost power. Cool. Well, that's fine. We built the motorbike. That's the main thing. Um, because now we should be able to, uh, you know, move a little bit. I am going to pick up all this stuff and move it a little bit closer, I think. Just because there's no point in running back and forth. And I am going to build stairs at some point uh, and kind of, you know, make this base more than just a slab of concrete with a constructor on it. <laughs> um, but that, that'll come at a little bit later time just because um, I need power. And for that, I need it to be day. Um, and we can't sleep yet. Not for 45 seconds. So it is kind of sputtering along. So that's good, I guess. Maybe we'll get a couple more solar panels. Maybe we won't. Um, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? I guess we can place our motorbike. Plop him down. That way we're ready to go. In the morning, I think we're going to go back out on the scout for some more trees to get some more plant fiber. Um, I guess we can place down these while we're here. And this will actually be kind of useful. Um, so I am going to put the O2 tank. Well, that has to be like a wall since uh, we have our solar panel there. So that's going to be a wall. Um, so it needs to come in one. Or, well, we could expand it, I guess, out a little bit but that so let's just put it here for now it doesn't really matter so that's the o2 oh that's the o2 station shit i placed that the wrong spot i thought that was the tank oh well so now we've got a tank and a station it's fine um we'll reorganize it once we build a multi-tool i don't think we can quite yet and even if we could i don't think we have the uh whatchamacallit the resources to build the multi-tool charges, so it wouldn't do us much good anyway. Okay, can I get this to snap? I can. Awesome. So there is that. We've got our second solar panel up. Still got 10 seconds before we can do that. Um, this can... Ch well, we'll go ahead and throw back in our ore, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, that way, once we get the plant fibers, we can go. But we're almost at the end of this one, guys. When we pick up tomorrow, or in the next episode, we'll be on our hover bike getting some wood. I might just skip that and show... Well, we'll probably show it just so you can see how sparse the trees are and everything. So you have a general idea for the planet and the arid map style playthrough. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the content, like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been LD7, and we will see ya.